Hi guys, it's Legionero. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do some experimenting with some clear waterproof um, vinyl sticker paper that I found online. I wanted to test out some clear vinyl sticker paper because I already have the white matte um, vinyl sticker paper. So I wanted to try something different um, and experiment and see if that paper, one, is it really we have a weatherproof is it really weatherproof and two to see if i will need to add another layer of um, transparent laminate over the top of it um, so um decided i would bring you along with me on my experiment so first thing i have to do i have to add a background to all of these quotes um, if not if i try to uh, print and cut this cricket will try to cut every letter and that's not what i want so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to shapes, get us grab a square. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to, um, I'm going to unlock it. I want to have this as a background for my stickers. Once I get done adding the actual background to my stickers and I want to make sure that, um, my stickers will fit on the printing page because with Cricut you can only print six by seven five um six point seven five by nine point two five so that's what that square is for so I want to just make sure that all of my stickers once I'm done fits into this area here all right so I'm just gonna slide this out of the way so first thing or second thing <laughs> I'm gonna click on my sticker and I'm going to go up here to offset. Now you can either do a rounded corner or a 90 degree angle. I think that's 90 degrees. I'm a little slow on a math geometry type math. Anywho, um, I'm just moving this to see where I want the offset to go. And I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but I have my offset at 0 0.097. But there's still little places here um, that the Cricut would try to cut. So I want to get rid of those places. So I'm going to take this up to, let's see, I think 0.5. That will do so I'm going to hit apply and if I grab the measure twice or rip later and move it out of the way you'll see that there's no open spots here so um, the Cricut will cut around this area and not any open spots here so I'm just going to hit undo to put my um, measure twice or rip later back and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to click and drag to highlight them both. And I am going to flatten them. Actually, hold on. Let me hit undo. First thing I'm going to do is change this background to white <laughs> before I do that. There we go. Now I'm going to click and drag. And flatten. All right. And to show you what I mean by this, I want to make sure my stickers fit. So now I just grab my sticker and put it on here. And just to test what size I want it to be. So I like my stickers to be two inches. So that's the first one um, and it fits pretty good. So just going to slide that out of the way. And also, so you see what it looks like with that offset. So I'm just going to slide this out of the way and I'm going to continue to add the offset to the other um, quotes on the page. As you are not going to believe how long that took. <laughs> anyway, I'm all done now. <laughs> that took forever. Um, so I'm just going to resize 
Oh, I took the background here. So I'm now just I'm gonna resize the um, sticker and just to recap what I did, I added the offset to all of the stickers and then I added um, changed the offset background from black to white. And now I'm just clicking on them, moving them to the background and changing the size. I like my stickers to be about um, two inches. I don't know what just happened. All right, I got <clears throat> all of the stickers on the background, but I don't have a full sticker sheet. So what I can do is I could take one of these and just um, duplicate it. So I'll just click on it, hit duplicate or duplicate, and just um, fill up my space. And I'll just use the same one since it's kind of skinny. And I can kind of maneuver and fit it on here. And I think I'll do one more. If it will fit. Creative Design Space is really aggravating me today. <laughs> okay, so I got a full sticker sheet now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the background. I'm going to hit delete and delete it. And then I'm going to select all of my stickers just by clicking and dragging. And making sure I have all of them and you'll see over here that it highlights and I'm going to click attach because when I hit make it I don't want it to move around right so I'm going to hit make it all right and uh, once you hit make it it comes to this screen and you see that you have all of your stickers and you see I have a pretty um, full page here hit continue and I am going to hit send to printer and it's trying to find my maker up here. All right, so I clicked the drop down. I chose my printer. I'm only doing one copy. Turned off my bleed and I turned on use system dialog because over here I need to use this menu to um, make sure the right printer is selected as well as um, the color and the right paper is selected. All right, so when your system dialog comes up, um, make sure my printer is chosen. I hit preferences. Um, um, make sure I have color. I want high quality. I want Premium Photo Paper Glossy and click OK. Uh, my printer is turned on and I do have the paper in the printer. So I'm going to hit print and it should start to print and then I'll um, show you the rest at the um, table. Oh, um, my cut settings. So to set the material, I hit Browse All Material, and I'm just going to look for um, sticker paper. And I'm just going to hit Printable Clear because I've never used this paper before. So I'm just going to start with this setting. And um, now I can uh, meet you at the table to do the rest. So the so the sticker, 
So the stickers are done printing. I just need to um, let them dry according to the instructions on the paper. And so I'm just going to let them dry for a little while. I'm simultaneously sewing some pants, so <laughs> I'm going to let this dry. And then I will um, go and cut the stickers on the Cricut and see how they turn out. Um, so the paper that I'm using is this Royal Elements paper. It's weather resistant, premium adhesive, tear resistant, clear vinyl sticker paper for inkjet printers. And I found this on Amazon. I was watching someone's YouTube channel and um, they were trying out this paper. The instructions do recommend that you use um uh let's see where is it on here okay. uh, i don't see it but i read it somewhere <laughs> they do recommend that you um add another transparent um what am I trying to say? I am just losing all of my thought today. <laughs> um, it recommends that you um, put another transparent layer over it. Um, but I'm not going to do that with these test stickers. I'm just going to try them out. I'm going to let them dry, cut them with the Cricut, and then I'm going to um, um, test the weather resistantness of them probably tomorrow. I don't want to do it today. Um, um, give the ink more time to set um, in. So, all right, I have stuttered and stammered enough. <laughs> all right, so I have put my sticker sheet on the mat. I'm trying to make sure to line it up as best I could on the mat. That way, hopefully Cricut will not have any issues trying to read the registration marks. If they do, I will add some of the Scotch magic tape to the registration marks, these black lines of the black um, square around the stickers. I will add some um, Scotch, I think it's called magic tape. I will add that on it um, because that's uh, it has a matte finish and that will help the Cricut read the registration lines better, but I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that Cricut will read these registration lines. So, this is what the Cricut is doing now, is trying to read the registration marks. Um, so, that's what that light is, and it's going um, back and forth on that black line, trying to read it. And I'm hoping I don't get an error message, and it starts to cut. But we will see in just a second. So it's cutting around the stickers. Yay! So, let's see what it looks like once it's finished. All right, so I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how it cut. I don't know if it cut all the way through the stickers. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it did. So, stand by. Let me get my um, tripod for my phone, and then I'll try this again. All right, so um, it didn't cut all the way through the paper, which is actually good for me because I've been looking for a kiss cut setting, and hopefully this is it. Hopefully I found it, so we'll see. I have to test that another time so i'm gonna try to pull up this sticker and i'm trying to get this one because it cut wonky um, all the rest of them cut pretty good but this one cut kind of wonky so let me see if i can peel this up Looks 
like it's coming up. And I don't know how well you can see that. Let me see if I can. It's a clear sticker. So I am going to put this on something. I'm going to wait about a day and then I'm going to see if it is indeed weatherproof and waterproof. Um, because if I don't have to, I don't want to put another layer on here. Um, if I have to, I will, but yeah, I think this is super cute and I think I found my kiss cut setting. So experimentation is good. <laughs> All right. So I'll let you guys, um, know the outcome. I may even do the weather test on camera, um, just to let you guys see if it actually works. All right. So, um, there's two ways that I use to take stickers off of the mat. I don't just pull them up because they end up being curled up. So I'll turn the mat over and I'll bend the mat and get the sticker off like that. So the sticker is nice and flat. Or I take this little scraper and I carefully scrape. See if I can get it under here without bending the sticker. off like that so that's the um two ways that i use to get the stickers off the mat otherwise they end up looking like this um let me find an example so if you just kind of pull them off they end up curled like that um although when you pull the sticker off the sticker sticks fine um the sticker will stay be flat but as for presentation purposes you don't want someone to get a sticker in the mail and it's um curved like this right so I um, tried to record myself putting this sticker underwater so you all can see that it was weatherproof and I rubbed it and everything. Even took a paper towel and rubbed, a wet paper towel and rubbed over it. Um, but the camera, it just would not cooperate with me. But um, I did do the test. These are weatherproof stickers. Um, I think the longer you let them dry, um, you know, the more the ink sets in. And you could also use a um, transparent vinyl sheet. I think that's what they're called. I'll link them in the description below. You can also cover your sticker with an extra layer of that. And that will also make them weatherproof as well. But um, yeah, don't touch my fabric scissors. And they are clear stickers. My first cut of these on the Cricut... Um, it didn't cut all the way through um, to make them die cut stickers, but I'm kind of glad it didn't because now I know what setting to use when I want to make sticker sheets. Because, of course, I want to shrink these stickers down and sell sticker sheets with multiple stickers on them. Um, that will be on down the road. But now I know what setting to use um, with the Cricut so that they'll, they call it kiss cut. So I'll know what stickers to use um, when I am doing kiss cut stickers. So uh, what that is, is the sticker is still on the paper. So you will get a sticker sheet and you just pull your sticker off the sheet. <laughs> Stick it to my mat. Um, if I can get it. Look, it will show out in front of y'all when I'm trying to get it off. <laughs> There we go. Um, so you just pull the sticker off and um, these stickers are clear vinyl. And then I'm getting ready to cut some that um, are on, that will have a white background, but I wanted to make sure I could find some that were clear because I know people like clear stickers as well. So I'm gonna stick this on my sewing machine right here on the corner you all can't see me doing this but i'm doing it <laughs> um so but yeah since i pulled it off i wanted to make sure i could stick it somewhere i'm getting ready to stick the rest of these in random places in my sewing space um so when i'm recording you may see some stickers <laughs> on surfaces but yeah i wanted to use this um
Royal Elements clear vinyl, vinyl sticker paper, weatherproof. Wanted to test them out. All right, guys, thank you for coming along with me on yet another experiment. <laughs> Y'all know I'm always into something. So um, if you have any questions for me, place them in the comments below. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.